Shout out to Cesar David Didios for requesting the first character for this episode. And shout out again to Wahid Abdullah, returning from the Miko episode, for requesting the second character for this episode. Thanks to both of you. Also, I'm going to start saying this at the beginning of my episodes from now on. Stay tuned for the end of the video to see who's going to be our next character. Okay, let's rock. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pizza fans of all ages. My name is Mike and welcome to Pizza Mon Mario. And today it's time for a new episode of my DLC ideas for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. We do another double feature episode. And we're talking about actual Nicktoon characters in this episode because the last few talked about guest characters and some of the junior characters. Now we're back talking about actual Nicktoon characters. And these characters come to us from Avatar The Last Airbender. The characters being Katara and Sokka, two of Aang's companions throughout the show. Now, with Avatar being one of Nickelodeon's most popular shows, it's only natural we see more Avatar reps join the roster. I talked about Zuko in a previous episode. Feel free to check that out if you haven't already. Now let's go ahead and talk about Katara and Sokka and what they could possibly bring to the table in the Nickelodeon All-Star role. I'm going to start off with Katara first and then move on to Sokka, as you probably would assume, especially if you saw my other double feature episode. So let's not waste any more time and y'all take a seat, get comfortable, grab a snacks and beverages, and let's get started. Hope you guys brought an umbrella with you because it's about to start raining with Katara's light attacks. For light neutral, I have water ball. Now, uh, before I say anything else, don't ask me where Katara gets the water from to make these attacks, because you know, most of the stages don't have water on them. But like I said before with Timmy and Arnold, we don't have to follow by the show's logic to make these movesets. So, yeah, shut up. <laughs> anyway, for water ball, you know, Katara just summons water in the shape of a ball and splashes her opponents in the face with it. For her light up, I have streaming, where Katara is recording herself beating up her opponents for about an hour with people commenting on as it goes along. No, I'm kidding. She summons water again and splashes her opponents in the face with it in a stream motion. Upwards, that is. Her light down could be slicing, in which Katara like shoot out water in a slice motion, like in the show. And now moving on to the light air attacks. I hear a bus going by, can you please shut up? Thank you. Her light neutral air could be water spin, in which Katara will spin in the air, shooting water out of her hands. Her light up air, slicing uppercut. Basically the slice smooth we saw earlier but this time in an uppercut motion. And then for the light down air, aqua kick. Well, like a tar essentially uses like her water whip to like kick her opponents onto the ground. You know, that kind of thing. And then for the light dash attack, water jet, in which Katara propels herself forward using, well, her water jet. And that concludes Katara's light attacks. Now I'll talk about how Katara really plans on washing up her dirty opponents. Dirty in the filthy sense, not about other stuff. But there's strong attacks. A strong neutral could be splash. Basically Katara taking a whole bunch of water and really splashing opponents in the face with it. It's like... <sighs> that was a terrible splash sound effect, I apologize, but whatever. A strong up could be Icicle. You know, I have a few uh, isolated moves in a moveset because then Katara can make ice as well. For this one, she freezes a bunch of water into like a pillar, launches it upwards, hitting her opponents. Her strong down could be Tidal Wave, in which Katara once again summons a bunch of water 
to create a tidal wave and splash onto my opponents. And then for the strong air attacks, the strong neutral air, water whip, or as Dewey Griffin would call it, water whip, or maybe water whip, I don't know. So for this, if you know Katara's water whip, you know what this is basically. So pull out her water whip and like whip her opponents across the stage. Then for the strong up air, ice kick. This is a move I kind of just created for Katara. I couldn't think of anything else, so I had to be a little bit more creative. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but that's the thing with like the air attacks, I'm talking about movesets. They're kind of hard to make, you know, out of all the moves here. They're like the hardest ones to come up with ideas for, so sometimes I have to be a little bit more creative. Basically for this, Katara freezes her foot and kicks up into the air, hitting her opponents in the process. And then for the strong down air, aquatic extensions in which Katawa will pull out like her water tentacles, so to speak, and do like a big volleyball spike to her opponents. And then for the strong dash attack, ice skating, another uh, isolated move, in which Katawa will freeze water into like a pillar of some kind and skate on it, as she did in the show, you know, like that. And that'll do for the strong attacks. Ugh, someone just got really cold in here. Why is that? Oh, that's right. I'm talking about Katara's special attacks now. You can probably guess where this is going. For her neutral special, we have Ice Breath, in which Katara will spit out her Ice Breath, kind of similar to Bowser and Charizard with their flamethrower attacks in Smash Brothers. Only don't make it too broken, like uh, Blossom's Ice Breath and Cut Your Network Punch Time Explosion. And from what I believe, Superman's Ice Breath and Multiverse is, is broken. I could be wrong on that though, I never played the game, so don't quote me on that. For her up special, I have Geyser, in which Katara pretty much launches herself into the air, shooting water out of her hands, go blast her up. He first lands back into the stage. And then for the down special, Frozen Prison, in which Katara will form a trail of ice, and anyone that gets caught in the trail will be trapped in an ice prison. You have to like mash buttons to get out of it, kind of like Yoshi's Egg in Smash Brothers. To make this move not too broken, I think that Katara can only hit an opponent with the Frozen Prison when like they're right next to the trail. Like if they're like past like where the ice is coming out, they can like walk around and uh, be able to hit Katara out of the move. I don't know if that makes any sense, but let's just say this pin right here is where the ice is. And this sin emoji is where like, the opponent is. If the opponent is like right next to it, they'll get caught in the prison. But if they jump over it, then you know, they're fine. Just like that. Now I'll talk about the stage that Katara can come with. And I have selected Northern Water Tribe. You know, because Katara is a waterbender after all. It makes sense. Probably could have picked the Southern Water Tribe, but oh well. Now this could be kind of one of the most unique stages in the game, only because it's a snow-themed stage. We don't have that in the game yet. Now much I can say about the stage visual-wise. This could be just like a temple stage where you can fight on platforms and stuff, like Western Air Temple or Omashu. That's all I can really say about it. So we'll move on to Katara's alternate costumes now. Now, in the thumbnail, I used Katara's final battle outfit, but her original design will be her default outfit, and one of the costumes will be the final battle outfit. So the outfit I have here is the Painted Lady from the episode of the same name. I'd definitely like to see this as one of Katara's alternate costumes in the game. Finally, we have her Fire Nation outfit. You know, probably saw this coming, did you? I mean, it fits, doesn't it? Yeah, that's it for the special attacks, stage, and alternate costumes for Katara. And those are all my ideas for Katara in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. 
I think she could be a fun character, splashing water on opponents like she does. Probably battle Korra, see who the better waterbender is, you know? And now we'll talk about her brother Sokka. Now Sokka, I can see him being like this game's version of Ike in Smash Brothers. He kind of heavy, also packs a big punch, you know? In fact, I have a move that's actually inspired from Ike that gets Sokka. You'll see what that is later. So now, let's talk about Sokka, shall we? <laughs> Did you like that uh, transition there? That also kind of transitioned itself into a wind sound effect? No, whatever. Let's go ahead and talk about how Sokka's gonna prove himself to be a true warrior with his light attacks. Right now, I'm pretty lightheaded from that transition sound. So let's hurry this up. His light neutral could be right hook, in which Sokka punches the fudge out of his opponents. Like a simple right hook, like, push, push, push. Yeah, those are punches, if you can tell already. His light up could be jaw blade, where Sokka pulls out one of his many weapons to attack with, in this case being his jaw blade, as he smacks his serpent into the air hitting an opponent in the process. His light down could be Machete Slice. I think that's how you pronounce it, Machete. So Sokka takes out his little knife, the Machete, and slices his opponents like he's slicing the vegetable. That was a slice sound effect. I'm not really good at sound effects, okay? Don't judge. Now for the light air attacks. For the light neutral air, Jumping knee, in which Sokka will attack with his knee. Kind of like Captain Falcon and his knee move in Smash Brothers. That's what this move would be. Sokka will do like a high jump kick, like a halucha or something. And then for the light up air, triple machete slice. So Sokka will take his machete and slice up into the air three times with it. I think it's kind of similar to a move that Shredder has. Where like you uppercuts in the air like it's like a multi-hit move. Something like that. And then for the light down air, boomerang swing. Where Sokka pulls out his trusty boomerang. Instead of throwing it, he hits with it downwards in a spinning motion. Then his light dash attack can be Tooth Decay. In which Sokka pulls out his whale tooth saber and dashes forward and hits the opponents with it. And that'll do for Sokka's light attacks. Now let's see Sokka use his leadership abilities to lead himself to victor in battle with his strong attacks. His strong neutral could be GN Special. I don't know how to pronounce the name of Sokka's sword. Basically, he takes his sword and swings like a baseball bat, hitting his opponents. His strong up could be Clubbing Strike. Where Sokka takes out his club and swings it upwards, you know, like a regular golf club, hitting his opponents. For his strong down, I have Hunting Stab. This is another move where Sokka uses his Whale Tooth Saber. In this one, he stabs it straight down as if he's hunting an animal. Moving on to the strong air attacks. For the strong neutral air, Warrior's Stab in which Sokka takes his sword and stabs it forward, hitting an opponent. Much like the hunting stab, except in the air and straight instead of downwards. For his strong up air, upward GN strike, or giant, whatever. In which Sokka takes his sword and swings it up into the air, hitting an opponent. Much like the other sword move, except in the air and it's upward instead of straight. So, do a little like reverse stuff there. And then for the strong down air, downward clubbing strike. It's like the club move we saw earlier, except it's on the ground and it's in the air. So, I guess you can kind of say that the theme for Sokka's strong attacks is roll reversal. Yeah. And then for strong dash attack, wolf's roll. When Sokka would do like a 
wolf roll, like in combat, and attack the opponents. Let me roll like a sword strike of some kind, maybe. And that'll do for Sokka's strong attacks. Uh, Sokka special attacks, go! Sorry, I don't have any more dialogue to say for Sokka here. Uh, where's rep at? I need rep. Oh, whatever. Let's run on to Sokka special attacks. For the neutral special, club throw. In which Sokka takes his club and throws it forward and comes right back to him. Basically what his boomerang would do, but I don't want to have his boomerang be the attack because that's already an item, so... Yeah, that kind of played a factor. For the up special, this is what I was talking about before with a move that's similar to Ike. I call this move Sky High Strike, which is basically Ike's Aether. Where like he spins up into the air and then spins and then like does a big slash downwards. You probably know what Ike's Aether is. So yeah. And then for the down special, Multi Slash. Now I think this could have two functions. If you press the button regularly, he'll do three sword strikes. And the second one can be like a counter like effect. If you time it just right, Sokka will strike twice after getting hit, and then do like a rapid strike into the third strike, if that makes any sense. For the stage, I selected Piando's Castle, where Sokka retrieved his sword. Now this stage can be like a flat stage, You'll probably climb onto the castle itself, maybe there'll be some platforms to jump on and stuff, you know, stuff like that. A fight like where Sokka battled Piando. Maybe Piando can even make an appearance as a stage cameo. You know what I'm saying? And now for the alternate costumes. For Sokka's default costume, of course we have his regular design. And then one of his alts could be his warrior's outfit from the final battle. I think that would work. We also have, I believe this is a pirate disguise. I could be wrong though. Let me know in the comments what this outfit is, because I don't remember. It's been a while since I watched Avatar, so yeah. And finally, we have the Fire Nation outfit. Yeah. Probably saw this coming from a mile away as well. Yeah, it fits. If the outfit fits, put it in the game. And I'll do it for Sokka's special attack stage and the alternate costumes. And those are my ideas for Sokka. And that wraps up my ideas for both Katara and Sokka in the Gordon All-Star Brawl. So another double feature for you guys today. I think I did a pretty good job on this. Sokka was a little bit more hard to make a moveset for the Katara. Because, you know, Sokka, he doesn't do any bendings. He had to rely on his weapons. Maybe some repeated moves here and there. I still think I did a good job. I think I did him justice. So now... Time to ask the question, question of the video. Do you want to see Katara and Sokka in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl? I say sure, why not? I guess some people might probably say, maybe we don't need all the Avatar characters, which yeah, that's fair. You know, we don't want another Fire Emblem situation on our hands, but if there's one franchise to do the Fire Emblem trick, it's gonna be Avatar, I feel. You know, they're both anime style uh, franchises, so it makes sense in that regards, but Yep. I don't really have anything else to say on the matter. We're still waiting for more updates, Nickel and All-Star Brawl, if there is any. You know, with the whole crossplay situation. And we're in a new month now. Can we get some kind of information? And they gotta say something about what happened with crossplay when it accidentally came out for switching PC players. We're saying over and over again, they gotta say something about that. Cause they can't just let us uh, forget about that or something. But who knows? And I think we'll stop here in regards to this episode, my DLC ideas for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Look forward to the next episode. But before we do that though, I have another discussion video in the works that I want to do. Probably could happen until like next week or something. You know, tomorrow is the Mario movie. We have seen it day one, we're gonna have a review of it. Might also try to do like a, another episode of Mario Party Pizza this week. Maybe some SpongeBob reviews as well. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah. That's all I need to say, so for right now, it's time for me to hit the road. That's gonna be it for today's video. Did you like it? If you did, give me a solid and punch the like button below like a piece of dough. 
and this is your first time on this channel and you like what you saw and you want to come back for more hit that subscribe button to become a member of the pizza mind mario party today share that with your friends your boyfriends your girlfriends whoever you want to share it with hit that bell on the notifications to be the first one to see all upcoming videos have a good time leave a comment until next time this is your boy mike signing out so peace out john hope you have a great rest of your day